quick man. Hello and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man Incorporated. What? And today, for all, I want to do a little test right here uh, with some different CA glue. And I want to compare that against this right there. How did you find out about this? Uh, a robot told me about the. And Craftman has done figure modifications in previous video. Uh, but you know, I just usually do, use super glue that's my default. So, let's look at this. Let's put it to the test. And so, Craftman have a lot of action figures. Uh, some of these you can get real affordably. That's what incurred some BB damage right there. Somebody apparently stood them up out there and they shot them with a BB gun. See that? I said, you know, but look, don't throw that away. We can maybe can use that in something, you know. And that's what I do. Try to find a figure that's being chewed out on something done with them. And that gives you opportunity to, to make a uh, new figure. See that right there? And that's a combination or two different, completely different tight lines right there. I wonder how come it is just about every one of these figures right here, the wrist right there, is broke at the same point. See that? Maybe one day we can use them boots, you know, that kind of neat right there, see that? But the video's not going to be about kid bashing. I just want to give you a background on why come and have all these little parts and things. If it's a perfectly good figure, I ain't going to go try to do to just ruin that, you know, so. A lot of them are already damaged and things, so. Just did not want to offend anybody that collects Star Trek figures, all right? But I could not think of any better figure to use in today's test than our favorite little Ed Harris action figure. All right. We're going to take Ed Harris, and we're going to take the leg, and just do a, a very simple cut, cut. And then just a butt joint. We're not going to abrade the surface, nothing. We're just going to make a cut, glue it, stick it together. And I have shown previously uh, the best way that you can remove these limbs is uh, the boiling pot method. You just put the figure in boiling water, that leg, that arm gets really, really flexible. Just pop it off of there. Look at this. But while I was finding the air Harris figure, look what I found up on there. A bottle right here. That pretty neat. All right. You know, and so we're just going to uh, uh, do something different. Uh, the things that I do on the program just is mainly for uh, informational purposes, you know, so uh, please do not do these things right here. He trying to quit smoking. Oh, crap. But on the most serious note, uh, PVC polyvinyl chloride. You do not want to burn this and then smell that, you know, so uh, there's a chance I might have been exposed to some toxic things, you know. But uh, just uh, please like and subscribe and ring the bell for notification. Now you look, what you can do is, uh, you can cut that little post right there. You know, get up in there with a blade and just cut it and then pop that out. But you know, do the up ball and pop method. Don't do this mess right here now. You know, crab man just shot on you, uh, you know, various of ways that you can do things. But uh, that's what we have to write though. And the third way that you can do is send me your, uh, your sign fiction, uh, action figure is to just use the uh, Uh, 
All right, and now we have all the ingredients to begin the scientific test of the, uh, except for one more, one more thing we need. It happens had legs and knows how to use them. That's right. And so today we're going to put these legs to the test. All right. That's probably about scientific as it can get up around. The only thing I could have done to make the most scientific is if I would have stated my hypothesis at the beginning of the program. But you know, we're going to test the glue out and see where if one rain victorious. If anybody wondered why crab man wearing gloves, I did not want to get uh, skin all around that thing. And so that's that. But what I was saying. I did not take no sandpaper and just, you know, try to rough it up cause sometimes you would want to do that, all right? We just going to go straight on, excuse me, straight on it. We just going to go, just, we just going to go on it. Let's see what we, how we doing now. We going to go right on it like that for everyone to glue and just use a straight old butt joint right there, just flat, flat like that right there. All right, now sometimes you will want to add your glue to both surfaces. Now I'm just going to put glue on the side with the foot on it and just stick up together. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? If you're doing this for looks, you know, you don't want to put that much glue, but we're doing a, a, a how strong is it test today. So let's do it this way. I hope everything going all right with you. Hopefully you have a good week ahead of you. Now, like I said, that's going to be more glue than typically that you would use. I apologize for the focus, but every now and then I don't get it right where I need to be. That's in focus right there. That's out of focus. That's in focus. That's out of focus. Sorry about that. All right. So the Loctite gel control right there, that's typically the, uh, the one that I would reach for. And so trying to put the similar amount between each one, you know. Now anytime you're handling these, uh, these products in the metal, uh, you know, container like that, it's going to have a tendency to, uh, when you go to squeeze it, it's going to hold whatever that shape is that you squeeze it. And then after this tube right here is going to be, you know, a little volcanic little eruption. All right. So, oh, Lily, I was just about to say gentle little push. Look at that. It already is ready to come up out there. Just, I mean, just ever so gentle. Look at that. So we're going to try and be real careful. Why do people get nervous sometimes? I don't know. Let's see. All right. Oh, goodness. That's one thing. It got a little stringy sometimes. Look at that. Y'all saw that little stringy. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to put uh, the leg across the, all right. Then we're going to put uh, some weight on it. Down, uh, and then just let that weight put down on it. We're going to start with a two and a half pound weight right there. 
And let's just go right down the lane. Gonna try ace first. So 2.5 pounds. Loctite liquid. Now let's try Loctite gel. And then left, we're going to try the side grubs or acrylic or uh, semen. All right, so each glue passed the 2.5 pound test. Now we about to take it to the next with uh, a weight level. Uh, because of the, how big that five pounds weight is, you know, uh, I might could just stick it up or not, but I said, you know, let's just go ahead and skip up to the next when y'all want to. Let's go to the 10 pounds right there. All right, Ace Hardware. I'm going to switch camera view so y'all can see how much these legs are bending. I try to be quiet over with those view right here. This one, the Loctite gel control right there. And I'm about to let go. And it's holding that 10 pound pretty good. All right. And now we about to tell little side grills right there. Now we about to test the 15 pounds, but we down to the last two glue right A hardware. And now we got the Loctite right there. Gear meter on. Excuse me, gear control. All right, I'm about to let go. That's pretty impressive. I'm expecting it to just snap it in a minute right now. But it is not. Now that's pretty impressive right there now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see can we get that to break on but I got to uh, to raise up my weight. All right. Uh, let's see though. Well, I was going to show y'all that it was bottomed out down now. That's pretty crazy though. It just been so much that it came on through. Uh, we going to have to rig up some other kind of way to test stuff. You know. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's pretty impressive to me now. Uh, this actually went a different way than that. Anticipated. The first time I tried this, I glued me together two pieces, uh, two little figure PVC pieces, you know, and I let it sit overnight. That's probably what I should have done. 
That's what I need to do. Hold up. Look at this right there. That's a 25 out of 80%. Yeah, let me uh, do something. Let me do back up. I'm going to take and try that one again and give it overnight. And let's look, look, look at look, let's look at what I'm trying to say. And then let's look at how that thing does. That's what I was going to tell y'all. Uh, I glued me some people together. I could not break them apart. I told my family, I said, I need to try to break this. I said, try to break this. They asked them. They could not do it. I said, let me do it all about their glue right there. And here I did when did the little experiment. And I ain't even waited overnight. I just was comparing it to CA glue, super glue. Craft man, you ridiculous sometime, I tell you. That's all right, just hang with me. And now we're going to give that overnight to cure, all right? To make it a fair comparison. Oh, uh, by the way, it now is two days later. I want to give this a fair chance to to really show what can it do. Let's see if this right here can hold up to 20 pounds. All right. So we got the side grips right there. And we got 20 pounds. That's what I'm talking about right there now. So, that's the glue test right there. We just did it. I hope that you find that interesting like Craftman did. Uh, I was actually very surprised with the result. In my previous deal usage, that stuff right there pretty tough, pretty tenacious. Uh, but, you know, it depends on really how that you use in it. You know, we just do a little. You know, just doing a little butt joint like that. That's not the most, all uh, right, structurally uh, sound of thing that you can do. But we just were doing a glue test. And I thought that's the simpler way that we can do it. And so I went to being very uh, impressed with this. At first, I was disappointed with this, but my silly tell did not realize, you know, come on now, craft man. You know you got to let that thing sit. And once we did that, look what happened. Come on! And I imagine that we can get these to break, but uh, I mean, you know, y'all got to give me more than 20 pound weight. I don't even know why I got kettlebells, to be honest. Hey, but where these kettlebells come from? You know, but anyway, that's y'all some glue. What? A very big thank you to Vote the Robot. Happy to help out, craftsman. Keep on steady crafting. I have become good friends with Vote the Robot on Instagram. I hope to have more news about my fragrant land coming out. Probably not. Until next time, I love y'all and keep on. Did it crazy.